I'll transmit the latest data we've received from the Allied forces. According to this, the dam is protected by an intensive anti-aircraft defense network. To deal with this, the Allied squadron will draw anti-aircraft fire to itself in the skies. Meanwhile, GOM team will join the Allied squad's Avalon Dam strike team and approach the target at low altitude through the canyon. That's the only way we stand a chance at succeeding. If you destroy the V-2 launch control facility, you should be able to stop the weapon from being fired. The V-2 will probably be equipped with a nuclear warhead. The destruction caused by its single warhead will most likely dwarf the damage inflicted by that tactical nuclear attack before. All the Allied forces will be mobilized for this full-scale operation. It seems this war doesn't want to come to an end. We must stop the V-2 launch. Hurry! to the water on your approach to Avalon. You'll be shot down if you fly high. Get to the enemy fortress. Once you're close, increase altitude and fly over the dam. This is PJ. If I'm with you, I know I can do it. I'll follow your lead. It's the call, team. We've been waiting for you. Follow us. We'll escort you to Avalon. You've passed the first bridge.
three launch control devices positioned at the base of the dam. Destroy them all. We will carry out the new creation of destruction through the power of righteousness. Territories, peoples, authorities, all will be liberated. This is the new state, a world with no boundaries will create. Neither nations nor nationalities have meaning. We will erase these unnecessary borders. The world with no boundaries will pen a new story. The world will change. before barriers close up and cover their facilities. These barriers can even withstand nuclear attacks. Show them what Avalon is all about. They have to stop them from launching the V2. Fight. 
of nuclear silo. GOM team, continue your mission. Engage. Stand by. We're analyzing the situation. Here comes the snow. Shoot down the enemy. I'll run a plane analysis and fill you in ASAP.
So this is the hidden truth about the war. And this is where his trail ends as well. The impact of the seven nuclear detonations on the world's psyche was great. Those who witnessed the carnage went on to organize a global arms reduction. Perhaps they were admonishing themselves. Furthermore, the existence of V2 was concealed. The events that occurred after the war faded from people's memories, and these men were also sealed away from history. Maybe this was one path to achieve peace. And here the curtain falls on this story. However, that does not mean their own stories came to an end. War is something fought on the desk of politicians. As long as they win in the end, that's all that matters. But for us, it's a matter of survival. In order to survive, you need to analyze the situation in an instant. It's the same as living in a city. The rules of this little city apply just as well to that wide open sky. That guy had the same feel about him as this city. I bailed out and landed here. The captain was gone. I've lived a comfortable life since then. And I probably have him to thank for that. They ring the bells here at dusk to honor the liberation of the capital. It signals peace, but to me, they are the sounds of death. When a fighter plane goes down, that's the end. It disintegrates into pieces. Incinerated beyond recognition. It's a scary thought. But it also makes you feel alive. I left the military, but I still fly that sky. But, uh, it's pretty lonely up there all by myself. I'd love to fly with him again someday. Marcela Vasquez, the Espada team's number two, and former member of the Sapin Air Force, 9th Air and Land Division, 11th Tactical Fighter Squadron. She is thought to be a survivor of the coup d'etat squadron. She currently earns a living as a dancer. If the demon lord hadn't appeared, our lives might have been different. For me, it wasn't about flying or ideals. Most of all, it was about him, my flight lead. Our mission was to escort the heavy command cruiser that was to act as transportation for the organization. And the demon lord appeared, as if to block our path. I will never forget his overwhelming power. One by one, my comrades were shot down, and then the mother bird we were supposed to protect. We survived after the fight, we left our organization and returned to the ground together. But he was heavily wounded. He soon passed away, leaving me behind. We were only able to spend a short time together in peace and quiet. But I don't blame anyone. The regret and suffering that remained after that battle were also what he had given me. They're among the precious few things he left behind. Anton Kuchenko, thought to be head director of A World With No Boundaries, former member of the Belkin Air Force, 18th Air Division, 5th Tactical Fighter Squadron. In his glory days, he was a Belkin ace and later became head of their Department of Weapons Development and Technology but the military sent him back out on the front lines as a commander. In March of 1995, he suddenly disappeared along with his platoon and was never accounted for after that. The Belkin Air Force announced that he died in combat. Several months after that, his corpse was found close to the Belkin border. 
the whole story is still shrouded in mystery. Larry Fink, also known as Solo Wing Pixie. GALM Team's number two, and member of the Ustio Air Force, 6th Air Division, 66th Air Force Unit. That's right. This man was his buddy, and his enemy. I should have died that day, but I didn't. I dragged my wounded body and reached ground zero of the nuclear detonations. A barren, empty land. I felt an unbearable sadness when I witnessed that landscape. There were still people living there. They were the ones that saved me. It may be true that the world has no need of borders, but would getting rid of them really change anything? The world won't change for the better unless we trust people. Trust is vital in a peaceful world. But that will never happen. I'm still on the battlefield. Right now I'm near a border. I want to see for myself what borders really mean, and what their volition really is. I may not find what I'm looking for, but I still want to try. Anyway, that's what I've come to believe, and I think that's enough. Will he see this video? If you do meet him, give him a message for me. Yo, buddy. Still alive? And thanks, friend. See you again. The Demon Lord of the Round Table. A warrior who soared through the Balkan inspiring both fear and admiration. His presence filled the skies for but a few short months before he disappeared. Apart from that, nothing is known about him. I was never able to find out what kind of a person he really was. But whenever they talked about him, they always had a slight smile on their faces. That, perhaps, may be my answer.